Today let us take up the topic of profitability ratios. We all understand what profit is. So, every business uh, strives hard to earn profit, right. So, the efficiency of the business is always measured by the profitability of the business. If an enterprise is making profits, then obviously the position of the enterprise will be better and if they keep on increasing their profits, they are said to be in a good uh, position. But if the enterprise incurs losses, for one year or two years the loss is ok, but if supposing they keep on incurring losses continuously, then their financial become will financial position will obviously become weaker, right. So, we can say that the measure of profitability reflects the overall efficiency of the business. So, these profitability ratios are very important from the point of view of accounting ratios and we can judge the uh, position of the company on the basis of the profitability ratios. The important profitability ratios are gross profit ratio, then we have the net profit ratio, operating ratio, operating profit ratio and return on investment. Today we will be taking up the gross profit ratio which is a very important measure of the profitability ratios. Now, let us first see what is gross profit ratio and what is the formula for calculating the gross profit ratio. <clears throat> now, first of all let me put the formula for calculating the gross profit ratio. gross profit ratio will be equal to gross profit <coughs> upon net sales into 100. So, all these uh, profitability ratios whether it is the gross profit ratio or the net profit ratio are always expressed in percentage right because we are multiplying that by 100 right. So, this is the ratio this is the formula for calculating the gross profit ratio it is very simple. Now, let us look at some questions wherein we will be computing the gross profit ratio. I will take up this question first compute the gross profit ratio from the following information right. Now, we have this cost of goods sold is given as rupees 5 lakh 40 thousand net sales is given as rupees 6 lakhs and sales return is given as 10,000. Now, before I start solving this, here net sales, net sales is equal to sales minus sales return, right, ok. Now, let us come to the question, ok. Now, we have been given the net sales here and the sales return is given and the cost of goods sold. Now, the gross profit ratio is as we saw here, the gross profit ratio is equal to the gross profit upon net sales into 100. So, we want to find out the figure of gross profit which is not given in this question. So, first of all, I will have to find out what is the gross profit. we have the formula which is cost of goods sold is equal to sales 
minus gross profit. So, from this formula I can write gross profit is equal to sales that is net sales minus cost of goods sold right. So, here I will write gross profit is equal to sales is net sales net sales is 6 lakh minus 5 lakh 40 thousand. So, that comes to 60 thousand. Now, in this question there is one small thing which you should take care of here in this place it has been given net sales and then they have given sales return these two things right. Now, when I say net sales, net sales already means that sales return has been deducted from that. If the question had said just sales instead of net sales, then we would deduct sales return in order to get the net sales. So, this sales return figure which is given here, you are not supposed to touch this at all. Nothing is to be done with this because net sales already means that this 10,000 has been deducted. So, you have to remember that. So, if you once again if you deduct 10,000 from this 6 lakh, then the answer goes wrong, right. So, I will keep my net sales as 6 lakhs only minus 5 lakh 40 thousand which is the cost of goods sold is equal to 60 thousand. So, now we have got the figure of the gross profit. Now, I will write gross profit ratio is equal to gross profit upon net sales in 200 right. So, now we know the gross profit is 60,000 upon net sales 6 lakhs in 200. So, if you try to solve this, this is 60,000. So, this 4 zeros here, this 4 zeros here. right. So, this 6, this is 10 here and this is 10 percent will be the answer, right. So, the gross profit ratio will be equal to 10 percent, this is your answer here, right. This is how we calculate the gross profit ratio for this question. In, in uh, questions where you have been directly given the gross profit in the net sales, uh, nothing is to be done, you just have to put the figures in the formulas, but most of the questions which you will be getting in your exams, they will not be straightforward ones. You will be asked to calculate the gross profit ratio and you will have to find out the figure of either net sales or gross profit. So, everything will not be given in the question, you have to uh, you have to derive the amount of uh, the gross profit or net sales from whatever information that is given to you in the question, right. Now, let us look at one more question for gross profit ratio. Uh, we have been given this average stock is rupees 80,000, stock turnover ratio is given as 6 times, then selling price is 25 percent above cost and that, that is the information that is given and you have to calculate the gross profit ratio, this is the question. Okay.
Now let us see how to go about this. We have been given the average stock and the stock turnover ratio, right. So, first of all, I will be using the formula of the stock turnover ratio. What is the formula? Stock turnover ratio is equal to cost of goods sold upon average stock, right. So, from this we will be calculating the cost of goods sold because we know the stock turnover ratio that is 6 cost of goods sold is not given in the question. So, cost of goods sold upon average stock is given as 80,000 ok. So, we can write here cost of goods sold is equal to 80,000 into 6 that will be equal to 4,80,000 ok. Now, once I have found out the cost of goods sold, now from here we have to find out the gross profit fine. Now, let us see how to do that. Now, we have been given that the selling price is 25 percent above cost. Now, in such questions uh, see we have to do like this if supposing I assume that the cost is 100 right then they have given that the selling price is 25 percent above cost that means the selling price will be 125 right which means the profit is rupees 25. So, I am buying it for 100 and selling it for 125 means the profit is 25. So, if the cost is 100 then the profit is rupees 25 we are concerned with this right ok. So, now I will write if the cost of goods sold cost is cost of goods sold is 4,80,000 then the profit will be how much? 4,80,000 into 25 upon 100 ok. So, 4,80,000 into 25 upon 100 will be 120,000. So, this 1,20,000 is my gross profit correct ok. Now, we know the cost of goods sold, we know the gross profit also. Now, we have to find out the sales. So, the formula we know cost of goods sold is equal to sales minus gross profit right. So, cost of goods sold is how much? Cost of goods sold is 4,80,000 is equal to the sales is net sales only net sales minus gross profit gross profit is 1,20,000. So, net sales will be equal to 4,80,000 plus 1,20,000. So, that is equal to 6 lakhs. So, now we have all the information with us for finding the gross profit ratio. The gross profit ratio will be equal to the gross profit upon net sales into 100. Right. So, I substitute the values over here. So, what is gross profit? Gross profit is 1,20,000. One lakh twenty thousand divided by the net sales is six lakhs, right? Into hundred, right? So when you do this, one lakh twenty thousand divided by six lakhs into hundred, 
this will be this will come to 20 percent right. So, from whatever information that was given to us we have finally found out the gross profit ratio right. So, you should uh, go for such questions where not all the information is given directly right. So, you have to find out the hidden information from the question ok. So, with that I come to the end of this topic on gross profit ratio. Thank you.